Okay, number DU6417. That's a Toyota Camry, gray. And there's also another one, JYU418. So that's DUG417, JYU418. And that's a Dodge Avenger. That's Riz. <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. Well, listen, I, I guess I'm going to close it on out there. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank everybody for being patient. I know it's a little warm in here. Uh, but uh, you all have sat and sat patiently. I hope you received everything that's been said today. I hope the little ones who sat so patiently uh, really uh, 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 got, got, got something, take something away from here. I, I know that with Danielle, with Smurf, I, 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 I've worked with them before. The um, survivors, know this, you are not alone. Yes. We're, we're, We're here for you, and not only are we here for you, for this entire community, on behalf of the coalition, we here until we see change in this community. We ain't going nowhere. So get used to seeing us around. We'll be popping up, you know. For those of you who are religious folks, if y'all want to call me pastor, it's cool. If you want to call me Thomas, it's cool. You know, don't make me no da 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 I'm here to go to work. I'm here to see change. I'm here to make sure that at the end of this year, we don't have another, uh, as many death certificates yes, written in this community as we had in 2014 and before. It's time for a change. It's time for us to take back our community. It's time for us to say enough is enough. March 21st, right back here, you speak out, listen and learn. It's not just for the youth. As adults, you need to listen too. As parents, you need to listen to what they have to say. It's about time for us to stop telling them what's wrong with them. You don't do doctors like that. It's time to ask them what's wrong, what are the symptoms, so we can fix this problem. Thank you all. God bless you. I'm gonna turn this over to Ms. Hill. As a matter of fact, let me call up here to the front. Yeah, Mr. Dimitri yeah. Wright. Yeah. Mr. Philip Mack. Stay right the window, get And I'm going to get on out of the way, because I was just here. <laughs> My heart is just overflowing right now. I mean, everything that was said, I'm just so glad that our community came out like this today. I can't even hardly talk because I'm so full of everything that was said. But we got to push forward, y'all. We got to push forward with this information. We got another event on March 21st. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to get John's album back, what Kim was talking about, the Little League. That was a great time. I remember that in the 70s. I remember that. Avalanche came in the 70s. Remember, I'm going to say, run to the road to see where the Avalanche is going. That was a foreign sound. That was a foreign sound to me. Now the police everywhere. Everywhere on John's Island and Wamala. Really? Let's take our community back. Well, I'm not going to keep you all just about everything I wanted to say. say um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is my team. I love my community. I love you all. Change is here, and we're going to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you all. And I, I want to say on behalf of the um, Citizen Improvement Committee, which is the board that governs this community center, I want to thank you all for coming out. Community, I love you. Someone said to me once, what is your position on board the law? I'm, I'm just a citizen here who loves my island. Um, not elected, I've been appointed, and I believe I've been appointed by God to do a work in this community, and I will continue to, to do that. And just listening to, I believe it's Ms. McGree and, and the, um, the police department who said, They've had many of these events throughout the counties, and this is the largest turnout, and I'm like, right, I'm, I'm so right. right, and if you just look around, you'll never have to ask me why I'm sending out emails at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning in regards to what the law, John Solomon, and what's going on. This is why I do it. I love my community. I love you, and I thank you so much. So many people that, that, you know, that I can call out. Um, 
would take a lot of time. Representative Gilliard for, for just coming in and being an advisor to us. Yes. Pastor Dixon, these guys, and I want you to know that it began with them. This wasn't a birthday thing, it began with them. A dialogue on Facebook and I challenged them. Right. I'm a Facebook stalker. <laughs> so I said, um, young people remember that. So if you're serious about coming together as a community, on that day I said, the community center is available if you want to have a positive meeting. And they were serious. And they are the reasons why we're here, and I thank God for them, and we're gonna move forward together, and we're gonna make some things happen. Brothers of Zion Temple, thank you. Sisters, the Eastern Stars, thank you. I can always depend on you. And I'm gonna be calling on you, committee members, my sisters from the Church of Our Savior, Dina Byron from Harvest, the Sea Island Chamber of Commerce. Thank you all, God bless you. And at this time, we're gonna have our closing prayer by the one and only. The Reverend William Jones and Dean Bethel A. Women. Since we preached this event, I heard in every board meeting, Bible study from the pulpit, and I know St. James is represented in this house, along with Reverend Huggins. That's my pastor. Reverend Huggins get a little ugly on Sunday mornings, but we know what she means, and, and New Webster, I know he hears you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we come giving you thanks for what we have heard, what we have seen. We thank you for those that have organized this, and we ask, oh God, that we do not let it go down in green. We ask to look upon those that have been uh, with, uh, with, with, with violence, with domestic violence, with those that have had violent death, for those that have survived it. We thank you, oh God, that they have come and share their story. And now that would help us that we would look around our community and be better people in our community, not only in the church but in our home, and look at those who cannot help themselves, those young people who are submitted to drugs and can't, don't know what they're doing, oh God. We ask that you will be a part of that. But thanks for all of the preachers, all of uh, Dixon and, and our representative who are out here with us today to say a word that we do care and to tell us that we don't have to be in the same community to hear what they have to do, but they're here because we're all brothers and sisters. Yes. We think of all our law enforcement and all our legal representatives and to our judges and all those that are here today, whether they're black, white, brown, green, we all are God's children. Yes. Help us now to maintain this, not just to be just a kickoff, but help us to return yes. with some kind of solution to make this community, this island, those islands, and all around us a better place to live. This we ask in the mighty master name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Don't forget, if you're not registered to vote, the lady from the League of Women's Voters is in the back. So please stop by and see them. Register to vote if you are not.